One of the greatest things about the game of golf is its ability to form relationships. We spend our time on the course with friends, family, classmates, and coworkers, people we know and spend time with already. Every so often we hear of tournaments that create a group you'd never expect to find together on a golf course. But for Paul Williams, the event he had in mind didn't exist yet, so he built his own golf course in Lowry, France, and started the Chateau de Coudreau Invitational. Paul has always had a fascination with golf and, and understood the value of golf and how that helps people in their lives generally. And they wanted to use uh, this environment and say, what could we do here that's very, very special? Let's make this more than just a private family home. Let's do something that would make a difference to other people's lives. This year's event featured four groups of golfers, young men and women of the Stirling University golf team in Scotland, junior golfers from the Louis 57 Academy in South Africa, members of the French Air Force, and former soldiers from the Battle Back Center, a British organization helping to rehabilitate wounded servicemen and women through athletics. I think the key message is perspective. To have people from different life experiences working together you know, supporting each other. We bring that human factor into it, life experiences, golf experiences, put them together and help each other. The Invitational consists of two rounds of competition. On the first day, members of these four vastly different groups come together to compete as a team in an 18-hole Stableford format, creating an impacting energy on the student golfers just to hear their backgrounds and what they've been through and then they're still just standing up and still living their lives. It's just amazing. It's just an insight into a world that we don't really know as students. Just bringing us all together through golf is obviously a great way of doing it. I was playing one of the holes and we started chatting about how, how, how the guy we were playing with, Bernie, lost his limbs and as a golfer we were worrying about missing that six foot putt when really in the bigger picture it doesn't really mean anything. Well, I just think it's that storytelling, because we ask them all questions about what they've been up to, what they've seen, what they've done, and then they ask them questions back. So I think it's just what that one big, long education. The 12 competitors from Battleback give immeasurable life advice to their teammates, but the event provides an avenue for the students to give back to these soldiers as well, in a way that no other sport can. In 2009, I was standing in Afghanistan, singing, and was hit by uh, an IED on foot patrol. Picked golf up after the incident, I met a few guys at Headley Court who played it, said come along to the driving range and just, just fell in love with the game. You get a bit of competitiveness back. We're playing guys who are playing off two and scratch and we, we got a chance to beat them, it's fantastic. So it's always nice to rub it in a bit when you, when you, when you take a hold of them. So since losing a lot career-wise, uh, through, through, through being sort of medically retired from the military, golf has a real ability to, to, to bring the best out of me. So even though there's some people there who it's like watching people play golf on TV, actually, on a good hole, I can compete with them. I hope that they can see that when guys get injured, there's more to it than being injured and they, they can achieve a lot more. And, and although golf is a fantastic thing, because when I play it, I feel able-bodied. So I hope that they feel that I'm not disabled when I'm playing them. We're just, we're just, we're just normal, normal guys, different backgrounds. After team play is finished, all of the golfers participate in a competition so challenging it keeps everyone on level ground. Hitting the hickory shaft four iron made 1932 into a lake 200 yards away, which for any level player is easier said than done. The second day of competition concludes with individual play, allowing the elite golfers from Sterling and the Louis 57 Academy to hone their skills on the challenging Chateau venue. But at the end of the day, the message of the event remains clear to all of the participants. The life skills during this week is more important than the golf. We're not going to find anything like this anywhere else, and it's a fabulous opportunity that we get while we're here. Okay. Okay. It's an inspirational event, it's a unique event, and it's one that we're really thankful to be part of. Now through their second year, the event's coordinators think they've only scratched the surface of what can be achieved at this special course in the French countryside.
We'd love to get you know, the American wounded soldiers part of this event, some American students part of this event, and then really it immediately takes on some kind of Ryder Cup type scenario that would add to the atmosphere of the event tr dramatically, and we would love to see that happen. That's the next step. It's an event that continues to grow, just like the number of global relationships formed on the course.